We now, of course, go straight to the FIFA Under-17 World Cup, where African champions Senegal have been knocked out of the competition. No thanks to France for penalties. Of course, he finished 5-4 uh, in that particular, particular one. 5-3, I beg your pardon, he finished in that particular one. And uh, he ended as uh, Senegal progressed, or uh, rather, France progressed to the quarterfinals of the competition. And England lost to Uzbekistan. Now, for the African team, Senegal, uh, they were poised to go through due to their exploits, of course, on the continent. But uh, it was not so as, uh, you know, France took them to the cleaners. And right there, for the French goalkeeper, Paul Agni, he was one of the uh, persons that was instrumental in that particular, you know, match. And, of course, to talk about the run of Senegal, is a journalist from Cameroon, works, of course, with sports 24.cm. Jamie Teke Ndube uh, joins us this morning from Cameroon. Good morning to you. Welcome. Yeah, good morning to you and good morning to your uh, viewers of uh, New Central. All right. Uh, Senegal have been knocked out of the competition, defending champion. I mean, what do you make of the game? Well, I think uh, it, is, it was going to really be um, a kind of um, difficult game for Senegal. Played against France, it was difficult, and so you expect uh, the likes of uh, Senegal to give them a run for their money. Uh, despite the fact that Senegal actually were booted out, but they prevented France from scoring in uh, 100, 120 minutes, which is a good um, um, performance from the African, African perspective. Because now, you know, Senegal, uh, they started this their uh, revolutionary uh, youth football uh, sometime in, 2000, in the year 2000. Uh, well, eight years ago, uh, with their president, um, uh, Senghor, uh, who has actually done uh, more than a human's job to ensure that uh, Senegalese football um, is actually uh, revolutionized uh, in terms of uh, the youth football. Uh, we've seen them clinch all, almost all the uh, youth tournaments in Africa. And it tells you of a, a nation that has actually done uh, good in terms of football. And uh, booted out uh, at the quarterfinals in the Under-17 World Cup, uh, to me, I think it is a, a work in progress because we've never seen Senegal uh, in this particular moment enjoying the football uh, presses in Africa uh, in all levels. At the senior level, the junior level, they are doing well. And so yesterday was just that test uh, at the level of the uh, world stage to see that they can still do better. Remember that this is the future of Senegalese football, you know, with the likes of Mane, uh, just again going out of the team. Um, these are the young lads who are going to take over the uh, team of Senegal in the future. And so we have to take positive from those uh, particular um, performance. But however, France uh, is a big name in, in world football. And so you expect them to actually um, win on penalties. But however, I think Senegal still gave a good account of themselves yesterday as far as that particular game is concerned. All right, uh, JB, I, I'd like to ask you before I let you go. Uh, quickly, we have Mali and uh, Morocco this weekend. One African team will be knocked out this weekend. Do you think either of the two can go on to the finals of the FIFA Under-17 World Cup? Yeah, they can. Uh, one of them can. Uh, I think Morocco uh, stands tall because Morocco normally, yeah, I think they are the champions of the Under-17 uh, Africa Cup of Nations uh, back, uh, in, uh, back earlier this year. And so Mali... So, you know, Mali also had uh, a, a revolution in their youth football. At one point in time, they stopped their uh, local championship to give preference to youth football. And so that is what is paying for them. We've seen Mali even at the level of the uh, senior team, their household name in terms of African football presently. And they are in the top 10 of the uh, top uh, ranking teams in Africa. And so the under 17 against Morocco, Morocco likewise like Senegal. These are the three nations which I have seen uh, that they have actually carried out uh, what you call the revolutionary aspects of developing football in their various nations. And so uh, it's going to be tight, a tight game between these two teams. Uh, first African derby in uh, a World Cup tournament is difficult to have an all-African derby uh, where uh, two African teams meet themselves in a particular stage of a competition like the quarterfinals. So it's good news to them. And I think uh, Morocco, with what they have uh, in their baskets, with what they have uh, in their uh, various, we saw their uh, academies that have actually come into play, like the Mohamed Defeat Academy, producing uh, some of the top players of the, of the team. Uh, I, uh, I'm talking of Morocco. Uh, I think those are uh, efforts by uh, Fawzi Lakja to ensure that Moroccan football is uh, on the map of Africa. 
And so Morocco, I think they are the one of the success, most successful nations in Africa because it's just uh, a year ago that the uh, national team reached the semifinals of the, Af uh, of the World Cup, the first African nations to do, nation to do that. And so they, they could be on that same um, run with their under-17. So I think the Moroccan team uh, normally, they are actually uh, doing something, but not leaving out Mali. We are, it's our African brothers, we know. Uh, we, want, and, uh, we, are, we want each of them to actually qualify for the semifinals, but uh, the better team, I think Morocco, uh, over Mali because of the structure which they have back at home, the foundation which they have built uh, as far as the uh, under seven, as far as the youth football is concerned. And I think Morocco should have a better chance to qualify from this particular group. All right. Well said, Jemi, uh, for that particular one. And we can only wish the African teams well. I mean, not a good way uh, to go out of a competition, especially when it comes to penalties. It could be anybody that would have qualified to the next round. But uh, we can only still hope that either Mali or Morocco go all the way to the finals and bring the coveted trophy back to Africa. Thank you very much for your time. Yeah, it's always a pleasure. And uh, hope uh, you, enjoy, you enjoyed it. And uh... See you again subsequent, uh, subsequently. All right, merci beaucoup.